welcome back to Ghana Money TV. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, join us on YouTube, on Twitter, and Instagram. We continue with our risk management series, number two, personal security. What does security means to you? Is it about you working safe within the community? Is it about you being able to go to work, drive, and not feeling that you, you are scared within the community? Is it about your mobile phones not getting stolen? Is it about your vehicle not getting broken in your household? So security means to you differently the way it means to me. The home, the house, our doors, our windows. What, what, what choices do we make around it? Do we, do we design it or do we just build a house and assume that it's going to be okay? You went to a property, a new property, the keys were given to you. Are you going to change it or are you just going to use the same keys? Just have a think about those things. Because the person who left might have a copy of that particular key, a duplicate. Yes, it's possible. But then you, you're using the same key. Are you going to choose burglar proof as against not choosing burglar Because burglar proof have got its own complications. If you choose that option, it means that your safety is also in danger if you need to escape during fire. We've talked about that before. General awareness. Are we thinking and talking about security in the household to our children, our family members? What are we supposed to be looking out for when we leave the, the house? Where do we keep our kids? People hide it everywhere. Under the flower pots, inside inside the garden, under carpets. What the, where you hide, who are you hiding it from? The thief? When they come into the house, they know where these things are. And so let's 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 resist those things. Let's change our mindset around those those kind of tricks number two walking about driving on the streets and in the road are we thinking about who is around us are we general awareness very very important because people watch us when you are driving and when you are walking people are watching you they are monitoring your movements sometimes when i walk in accra and and kumas and some of the country the cities in in Ghana, if my backpack becomes my front pack, yes, I'll put my backpack on my front because I'm just I just can't understand why I'll be walking in such a congestion area with my laptop at my back when I've got my front. So it doesn't matter, it's called a backpack, but I'll, I'll choose it to be my front pack. So that's a tip for you. Be aware of yourself, okay, guys. Number three, your work environment. You, you, why are you staying so late in the workplace? You because you want to avoid the traffic. Really? Do you know what's happening across your your working environment? Where do you where do you work such that you can make such a decision? The neighborhood. You need to think about it. If you are going to cite your job, you're going to cite your your shop, you're going to cite your workplace, the location. Do you think about security? Do you know the neighborhood that you're going to put this 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 business? Just something for you to think about. Sometimes we need to look at the, the investment that we are going to put in. Resources. Are you going to put CCTV cameras? Alarm systems. Very, very key. Are you going to hire a security guard? Yes. Would you put a guard there? Are, are you going to detection systems? Barb wire. People are going into electric fence, which is also something you need to be very, very careful with if you're going to take buy an electric fence because th there's a law behind it. You can't just go about electric electrocuting people. Yes, so look at look at the company that you are using, look at the requirements of that particular particular system, and then make a good a good judgment. So if it means investing more money and resources so that you'll be safe, your property will be secured, then go for it. But it's all about you doing a general assessment of what security means to you. And when you do that, you would be able to, to, make, to make a good judgment and, and make the right choices. In the end, you realize that spending more money on security, it's a cost-benefit analysis. How much are you going to lose if you put this in place, this security systems, as against the risk of that, that particular loss happening? It's your choice. We we'll we will leave you with, with, with these points and hopefully it should help you for you to for you to make your decisions. Thank you for watching us once again. Subscribe if you haven't. We want to be to be able to get the discussion going. So guys, comment as you want. 
just just let's just let's just talk about this and and keep watching thank you once again the next video will look at flooding in in ghana and how much it is affecting us and what we'll be able to do to be able to secure our homes and our property bye